Hey guys, it is Brandon Baum here. Now, I've teamed up with the lovely people over at Adobe to bring you a full playlist on how I created my latest upload, Mobile Bartender. So far, we've already looked at how I removed objects from the screen and then how I did a screen replacement. Now we're gonna look at how I created all the individual animations inside of that screen. So picking up where we left off, we've tracked the phone and put on this horrific design that says Brandon's Bar. So we're just gonna go back into our screen replacement comp and remember anything we do inside of this comp is automatically gonna copy over into our main composition onto the screen. So we're just gonna keep that screen replacement comp open and delete this horrific Brandon's Bar design. So we're starting fresh with a brand new slate. So to start the process, I've taken a screenshot of my phone on the home screen. I then imported that image into Photoshop and then I'm just going to use the quick selection tool to select each one of these icons and bring them onto their own layer. To do this I'm going to select their area and hit copy and paste to bring them to their own layer. I'm just going to go ahead and click save and then we're going to make sure we're saving it as a PSD. We're then going to go back into After Effects and double click on our project to import new footage. We want to change import kind to composition and we want to make sure we've got editable layers styles selected. Then we're just going to hit OK and if we bring this into our screen replacement comp we should now see we've got each one of these icons separately on their own layer. I'm just going to quickly go through labeling each one of these so I know which layer is which. Perfect, now I'm gonna take our last layer, which is the wallpaper, and delete it, so we've just got our icons here. And then I'm gonna hit Command X or Control X on a PC, and go back into our screen replacement comp and just paste them out here. This essentially just decomposes the comp. Now the last step that I did just to tie all of this together was to design my own wallpaper that I could stick behind the phone just to fit in with the theme of the video. But if you don't wanna use a designer image as your wallpaper, feel free just to keep it black. So I'm just gonna drag this into our composition and hit OK, and then drag this beneath all of our icons. Great, so now I'm really happy with how this looks. So the next thing we're going to want to do is add a stream of water coming into the phone and then making it look like water's actually filling up inside. So to create this, I found this stock video online of water pouring behind a green screen. So I'm just going to drag this into our project and then into our composition. We're then going to come down to scale and we're going to unconstrain proportions. I just want to drag mine down very slightly to make it a bit thinner. There looks about good. Then I'm going to come up here to our rectangular tool and I'm going to create a mask just around the center of this stream just so we've got a nice clean chunk that we know we can use. And then I'm going to hit Command D on the keyboard or Control D on a PC to duplicate the layer and then I'm going to drag it and overlay it on top of our first stream. I'm going to grab both these layers and drag it to the bottom to leave room for another duplicated stream at the top. I'm then going to select on all of these layers at the same time, press F and then feather all these masks by 10 pixels. Now that I'm happy, I'm going to select on all of these layers and hit Command Shift C to pre-compose them or Control Shift C for a PC. And we're just going to call this Water Stream. Perfect. So the next asset we're going to need is of water filling up. So I found some stock footage online of water filling up and we're going to use this to comp onto our screen to make it look like the phone's filling up. So I'm just going to drag this into our project and drag it up to the top and we're going to scrub forward slightly to where it started and we're just going to reposition this to the bottom and I'm going to actually scale it up to 110 to make it slightly bigger. Perfect. So if we scrub through we can now see that the phone is filling up. Amazing. So we now have everything we need to create these screen animations. We now need to go back into our main comp and look for all the cues that we need to start each one of these animations. So I'm going to go back into our main comp and I'm going to find the point where the liquid starts pouring. So I'm just scrubbing through. I'm going to zoom in so we can see it and flick through the frames and try and find the moment where we know the liquid would start pouring. So I feel like around here, the liquid would have just started to pour out. So I'm going to go back into our screen replacement comp. We're going to take the pen tool and we're going to make a semicircle on the stream and then a big square at the very bottom. Now this is what we're going to use to animate the stream actually starting. So I'm going to come down to the mask, hit subtract, and then I'm going to go to mask path. I'm just going to add my first keyframe here and start this all the way up here. I'm just going to take these two points here. Uh, and drag this mask lower so the water is completely out of shot. Then I want to scrub forward about a second or so. And then I'm going to take all of these points up here and drag them all the way down off screen at the bottom. So if we play that through, we've now created an animation that starts the stream. Now, if we go back into our main comp to see what that looks like, we see there's an issue. The point where the liquid goes into the phone doesn't match up with the lining of where it goes into the screen. So to fix this, I'm going to look at the point where I think the liquid should be going in and I can see it's just above the photos badge. So I'm going to go back into our screen replace comp and I'm going to take our water stream layer and just drag it over. I'm just going to scrub through this animation animation, checking that the entry points always line up. If they don't, I'm going to add keyframes to adjust it. So going back into our screen replacement comp, I'm just going to add my first keyframe here where I know I'm happy with it. I'm going to scrub forward a little bit and here I can see it's breaking off again. So I'm going to move this over, rotate it around a little bit, check if it lines up. Great, now I'm happy. Perfect, we've now completed the water stream section. Up next, it's time to focus on actually filling up the screen. So we're gonna turn on our water stream layer and find the point where the water starts filling up. Now I'm gonna find the point where my water stream hits the bottom of the phone for the first time, and then I'm gonna start in our water filling up shot. Perfect, so now if we hit play, we can see that the phone starts to fill up as the liquid fills. Now the next thing I can see that I wanna change is matching the color of the liquid coming out the bottle to the color of the liquid going into the phone. So we're gonna go inside of our screen replace comp, and we're gonna type in hue and drag hue 
in saturation onto our rising water. We're then going to spin around our master hue until it gets to a shade that we're happy with. For me, I think that looks around about here. I'm then going to play around the saturation and lighting tools just to get it to the perfect hue. Now, if we try to simply copy and paste this onto our main water stream, we'll see that nothing happens. That's because on this layer, there's no hue to start with for the preset to change. So to fix that, we're going to come up here and go to colorize, and I'm going to just drag on the sky blue. Now, what this effect has done is added the color into the shot. So we're going to select this color up here, and we're going to match the shade of the water below it. Perfect. So if we now go back into our main comp, we can see we've matched the color of both the liquids. The last stage of this animation that I wanted to do is make the icons react to the water. So I'm going to go back into this screen replace comp, and I'm going to find the point where the liquid starts pouring. Now, as the liquid hits these icons, I'm going to make each one of these icons react to it individually. So I'm going to start with the photos icon, hit P for the position, and select on the stopwatch. Uh, and I'm going to scrub forward slightly and drag this down to the very bottom of the screen as if it's been knocked over by the water. I'm just going to zoom in on these keyframes, make sure I'm selecting both of them, right click on them, and hit Easy Ease. If we just have a little watch, perfect. Then after it lands, I'm just going to create a few random keyframes at the bottom as if it's floating along the bottom of the water. Amazing, now that's looking really cool. I'm going to keep repeating this process every time a different icon is affected, but I'll time lapse it so you don't have to sit through. Amazing, so we are now done. Let's have a look at how that screen animation looks. Cool, so I'm super happy with how that looks. It's looking super interactive and it's giving us a really nice look and feel to the video. So we're going to go back into our main composition just to check we're really happy with how this looks. Amazing, and that is how I created the screen animation all inside of Adobe After Effects. Make sure to check the link in the description for the full playlist where you can find out how all the elements of this video came to life. And guys, I'll see you on the next one.